Welcome to Being at Home with George. I'm really excited to be here and to challenge ourselves to create the possibility of saying yes to whatever comes up, embrace it, say yes to it, and at the same time, generating hope and making wise decisions. And I've been reflecting recently on this idea of how to deal with a country that seems to be very divided. And I'm talking about this on a personal level. I have a lot of friends who maybe voted differently and whatnot. And how do we get to a place where we can come together and not be so divided? And this idea of principle-centered living came to mind. And I learned that from Stephen Covey and his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I was thinking about this idea, what if we relied on principles, not personalities? as a way forward to a more perfect union, you might even say. What are principles? According to Stephen Covey, principles are guidelines for human conduct that are proven to have enduring permanent value. They're fundamental. They're essentially unarguable because they are self-evident. One way to quickly grasp the self-evident nature of principles is to simply consider the absurdity of attempting to live an effective life based on their opposites. I doubt that anyone would seriously consider unfairness, uselessness, mediocrity, or degeneration. And I would also say being unvalued, unappreciated, and unaccepted would fit that category. And so that would not be a foundation for lasting happiness and success. And so when I think about it, uh, I think about the principle that talks about treating others the way you want to be treated. Now, I don't know about you, but I learned that in kindergarten. And so on some level, because I learned it in kindergarten, and here I am in the twilight of my life, and it still is relevant. It's timeless. It's universal. And it's self-evident. Because when I notice that I'm treating people the way I want to be treated, when I see people's greatness, when I'm looking at their masterpiece within the divine spark within and relating to them in that way, they respond in kind. And we get beyond this illusion of separateness. And you can actually feel. And so we actually practice this idea of mutual benefit, mutual respect. And even if we disagree, we can agree to disagree without being disagreeable and realize that just like me, this person wants happiness. They deal with suffering and whatnot. We have to get beyond this illusion of separateness and realize I and the other are one. And that if we can just have these principles and say, OK, maybe our person didn't win the election but we can support the person that wins and hold them accountable to living a principled Senate life. In this case, we're talking about the Constitution and the rule of law. And so I think that's the way forward we can have where we have mutual benefit, mutual respect, and treat others the way that we would like to be treated.